Hi everyone, Harry Frank here from Red Giant, and in this tutorial I'd like to show you Color Mosaic Transition from Red Giant Universe 2.2. You'll locate the Color Mosaic Transition inside the RG Universe Transitions category of your effects. I'll grab Universe Color Mosaic Transition and drop it on a cut point between two clips. As I step through this transition, you'll see that it's a blocky color mosaic pattern that guides us from clip A to clip B. Now, more specifically, what's going on is that it's rendering a very blocky fractal noise pattern. That's a grayscale image. If I jump forward in time, it looks something like this. So we have some dark areas, some gray areas, and some white areas. And this is used as a transitional mat that gets us from clip A to clip B. In addition, we take that same luminance map and we color map it using the color map right here at the top. That color map is then overlaid over both A and B images using the blend mode that's defined down here. By default, this is a hard light blend mode, but you can set this to whatever you'd like. Now, this looks okay, but I think the colors of the transition could match the video a bit better. Now, I can simply select this, go to my color map, and select a different color preset, and I think right away we have a much better match for this. Now, if you want to get even more detailed, let's say we have a clip like this and we'd like to actually pull colors from the original video. Being that we have color pickers in our interface here, we can simply select colors right from the video. So I'll pull some shadow colors from the car here and I'll bump up the saturation a bit. And then I'll pull my midtones from this sunset area back here. Again, I'll pump up the saturation just a bit. And then we'll set the highlights to just kind of a bright color. So now if I play through this, we'll see we've got a very complementary color set with our transition as it gets from clip A to clip B. Now, we do not have to colorize this. If I set our color mix down to zero, it will simply use the luminance and ignore the color mat. Below that, we have the evolution speed, which is the animation of the fractal noise over time. A higher number means that it will animate more quickly over time. We have the ability to take this map and scroll over time, both horizontally and vertically. I find this works pretty well with shots that have some sort of movement in them. I'll turn this color mix back up to 100. Now, if we start to play with the scale and aspect settings, there's actually quite a bit we can do with this. If I make these much bigger by turning up the scale, so now we're just seeing very large blocks vertically. I'll take the aspect and set this to a pretty small number like 0.1. And we'll leave our horizontal scale moving. And if I play through this, we see we get these kind of strips that evolve over time. You'll notice there's also a skew down here. So if I turn this up one way or the other, it will sort of contort the source map at an angle. Now if I jump forward, Back to our other example here, right in the middle you can see that some of these squares have a bit of an edge treatment to them. This is simply an edge treatment being applied to the fractal noise treatment. If you'd like more of it, you can turn the edge mix up, or if you'd like to get rid of it, you can turn it all the way down to zero. There is an overall glow applied to the whole effect, so we can turn up the amount of glow being added by turning up the glow mix, and the radius is the overall size of the glow. We have a seed control here, and this is for the occasion where the pattern that is being generated just doesn't quite line up well with the video that you're using. So you can change this to vary the fractal noise pattern that's being applied to your transition. And remember, before you dive into the interface of any of our plugins, you're always welcome to check the preset browser by clicking on Browse Presets, and in there you can browse a wide variety of presets to use as a starting point or to use as is. And that is Color Mosaic Transition from Universe 2.2. My name is Harry Frank for Red Giant. We'll see you next time. Many thanks to our friends at Pond5 for much of the footage we use in this tutorial. To see more of their footage, go to Pond5.com.